This symbol is known by many names, and one of them is the hexagram. It is also known as the Seal of Solomon, the Star of David, and the Megan David. A hexagram is two equilateral triangles, one upright and the other inverted on top, having six points. According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, first known use of the word hexagram was in 1871. That is approximately 150 years ago. However, this object has been around for at least 2,000 years. Its image had been found on ancient synagogues in Israel, which makes it a Judaic symbol. The word hexagram is two words. Hexa and Gram. According to the online etymology dictionary, Hexa is the Greek word hex, which means six. Gram comes from the Greek word gramma. It means written or marked. It can be a picture, a drawing, a character, an alphabet letter. Therefore, hexagram means six characters. According to the online etymology dictionary, the word hex to practice witchcraft originated in Pennsylvania around 1830. Pennsylvania is home to German immigrants called Dutch. They were mostly farmers and they brought with them their culture as well as their belief in decorative symbols. According to Dr. Alfred L. Shoemaker, 1950, the New York Times wrote an article that said, the barns in the Pennsylvania Dutch country are decorated with curious geometrical designs. They are always the same, a star within a circle. These are the farmer's hex signs. They're supposed to prevent the devil from entering the barns. In the book Pennsylvania Beautiful by Wallace Nutting, 1924, the ornaments on barns found in Pennsylvania go by the local name of Hexafus or Witchfoot. These decorative marks were potent to protect the barn, or more particularly, the cattle, from the influence of witches. Nothing calls it a kind of spiritual or demoniac lightning rod. According to Wallace Nutting, the six-pointed star was the most popular of all the stars, and that the stars were known as Kabbalistic marks. In other words, the so-called hexes are Jewish symbols. According to French Kabbalist Eliphaz Levi, Dogma et Ritual de la Haute Magi, 1854, rebellious spirits are enchained by the exhibition of the blazing five-pointed star, or the seal of Solomon. According to the Encyclopedia Britannica, King Solomon reigned in the 10th century BC, which means the Seal of Solomon was invented approximately 3,000 years ago. 
Eliphaz Levi describes the Seal of Solomon as two triangles combined in a single figure, which is the six-pointed star from the sacred symbol of Solomon's seal. According to the observation of dictionaries, it wasn't until 1959 that the Webster Dictionary defined the word hex as to put a hex on an enemy and to cast a spell over. Coincidence? The enemy loves to turn everything upside down. From perfect to twisted. From frontwards to backwards. From written truth to staged lies. This is what they do. Now ask yourself, if this symbol was good for keeping the devil and witches away, as well as imprisoning demons, who do you think would want it destroyed? Think about it. Ron Charles, truthunedited.com Symbols Explained, Part 3 calls this symbol the number of the beast of Revelation. Listen to what they said. If you examine it closely, you will see something you may not have ever expected. 666. Yo, don't believe the hype. Boy! Don't believe the hype. There are a lot of deceptions in this world, and calling this symbol the mark of the beast is one of them. Let's take a look at their deception. Look, it has six points. Then it forms six equilateral triangles. Then in its interior, you will see a six-sided hexagon. This shows 666, revealing the number of the beast of Revelation. He made it sound right, didn't he? Guess what? Six points, six triangles, and six lines does not equal 666. Someone didn't do their math, or they deliberately tried to deceive you. Don't believe me? Do the math. How much does six points, six triangles, and six lines of a hexagon equal? Here we have a model of six, six, and six. Six points, six triangles, and six lines of the hexagon. Now all you have to do is add them up. If you counted each object, your answer should be 18. This is first grade math. Simple logic. However, Truth Unedited did not want you to use logic and add up the numbers. Because they wanted you to believe that it was really 666. When clearly it is not. It's called deception. Not only that. TruthUnedited.com used one hexagon six times. Look, there's only one hexagon. They counted it six times. Listen carefully and pay close attention. Then in its interior, you will see a six-sided hexagon. Notice that he said a six-sided hexagon. What else can a hexagon be? 
Hexagon means six-sided angle. Therefore, its input should have been one hexagon showing 661. The truth unedited means six lines of the hexagon? If so, they must also count the lines of the triangles and the lines of points. Something like this. In its interior, you'll see a six-sided hexagon. Then it forms six three-sided triangles. And on its exterior, it forms six two-sided points. This shows 12, 18, 6. Would you believe me if I said this object amounted to 12,186? Just because they're next to each other? Well, that's what Truth Unedited tried to convince you to go along with. So yeah, they try to pull one over on you. Not only that, the symbol is not a man. This is what the Bible says. Count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is 666. If you believe that this symbol is a man, and equals 666, I say it again, you've been had, you've been took, you've been hoodwinked, bamboozled, let us stray, run them up. Right, this is what he does. The enemy's job is to lie. That is their propaganda. They have to keep lying to hide the truth. So, Let's review what we have learned. Since 1830, Pennsylvania Dutch symbols have been called hexes. The hex symbol were used to ward off witches, demons, and devils. The most popular hex looks a lot like this. In 1920, the so-called hex was identified as a Judaic symbol. A 19th century Kabbalist identified the so-called hex as King Solomon's seal. The symbol known as the hex and Solomon's seal is about 3,000 years old. The word hex, as in putting an evil spell on someone, is considered a new occurrence. Six points, six triangles, and six lines does not equal 666 it equals 18. Mission, to see if you've taken time to listen Then the definition To give sight to a rib that's missing So that we can complete the mission <laughs>